Hello, my name is Ilona and today is Thursday, April 18th, 2024. And first of all, I want to start with that the farmers in Norway are standing up for themselves. So I actually shared some clips on my Telegram channel. Very interesting. I have a feeling we're going to see more and more farmers the next coming months, at least in Europe here, because they're going to be voting in Europe in June. So I do think a lot of farmers are going to take that opportunity to show themselves and let them be known. But right now in Norway, the farmers are standing up. And I think that, like I mentioned, we're going to see more and more happening, uh, not just in Europe, but I think worldwide as well. It's very interesting. And I'm glad that they're standing up. Second thing is that uh, a message I shared on Telegram is that uh, Israel wanted to do something about Iran on Monday, but this decided not to. And I think it's very aligned with what I was looking at Tuesday in my video about that secret deal most likely happened with the Whitehead parts in those countries. And I do believe that that's happened because right now not much is happening there. So it's very interesting to see. So we'll have to wait and see what's going to be next. And this is an article I just thought it was very interesting. This is a Dutch article, so I'm not sure how I can completely translate it in the correct manner. But there is an article that had to do about changing the law. So instead of mother, so using the term mother, it should have been parent uh, from which someone is born, which is really has to do with the agenda. They were trying to push this through. But someone noticed in the uh, parliament and was like, no, it's not going to happen. So they now have to change it back. But it looked really strange. And again, uh, the minister now that it's uh, apparently, uh, you know, uh, it's part of his department is again Hugo de Jonge. Now, most people outside of the Netherlands most likely have no idea who Hugo de Jonge is. But he was minister of health during the past four years and he's the guy that mentioned that you should get the stings and that he knows where everyone lives that did not get the stings and he was just an awful person altogether well this article is very interesting that was mentioning that uh, the uh, there is now a document showing that it actually purposely wanted to remove mother from this text in the law and uh, he is actually explaining the jonge is saying well i look like a prick now, I think that's the best translation of what is going on. And like I mentioned in my Dutch video, you already do. You do all the time, Hugo. It doesn't really matter. You can't really blame the, uh, you know, the people working beneath you for what has happened because you always look like a prick. Sorry. Anyway. Very interesting. They actually are talking about uh, this. This has already been known in 2022 when it was under uh, uh, another minister at that m moment in time. And uh, this is about home affairs, the Ministry of Home Affairs. And uh, apparently uh, a secretary was uh, the this is about the registration law it falls under a secretary and uh, her name is Alexandra van Huffelen and she is the one that even though there was like a motion from the parliament not to vote for this digital identity she did anyway in Europe she was like I'm gonna sign it anyway so I'm sure that she was uh, aware of this but it's just a very strange thing happening there so I thought that was quite hilarious that he had some self-knowledge that really that is what he is. Another person who is perfect for making himself look as idiotic as possible is Mr. B. Like I mentioned before, the person that apparently is running around and doing his thing should get a raise. Anyway, there's a clip that I shared that it had, he's actually talking about that he said to Israel not to move on Haifa. So he warned them, don't move on Haifa. So don't do anything with Haifa. Haifa is a city in Israel. So he's actually <laughs> telling the Israeli people, at least the government, don't attack Israel. <laughs> well, we are already aware about his knowledge, <laughs> geographical uh, matters. And of course, he uh, confused Mexico and Egypt last time, a, a while ago. So we know that he really knows where everything is and who, uh, you know, all these cities and things like that. So it's it's very interesting. All these maps, he knows exactly what's going on. 
And like I've mentioned, this is just making things hilarious. Anyway, thing I wanted to take a look at in this video is actually about Snowden mentioning that uh, he's actually talking about this Reforming Intelligence and Securing America Act, which was recently passed by the House of Representatives and which could sign significantly expand the number of businesses which could be compelled legally by the US government to surveil, uh, survey American citizens. Yes, to be very honest, I think that's already happening anyway, but this is very interesting. And he's actually showing this and, and putting a light on this. And I just wanted to take a look at, at the video, uh, take a look with my cards, obviously in this video. What is going on here? Well, we've got the six of pentacles. We've got the star card. That's the central card. We've got the uh, Queen of Cups in the past. We have the Ten of uh, Pentacles underneath the star card. And for the future, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So to me, this feels like it's not really going to go anywhere ultimately with the Two of Swords. That's the feeling I'm getting. But it's becoming very tangible now. And because a lot of people have seen all these things happening for the past few years, what's been going on, I think this is really showing, you know, it's, it's showing the balance, what is going on, especially with the star. And this is the status quo that's been happening because to be very honest, I believe this has been happening for a very long time anyway, but it's now being shown by this bill. It's now being emphasized. So I think Snowden is purposely showing this so people are aware of what's truly going on. I don't really see it go anywhere. Maybe it will get through the Senate, but I'm not, you know, I don't think that's the important part of what's going on here. It is about waking people up. And the feeling I'm also getting is that, uh, you know, I don't know, especially with the star card, it's always like an alien influences to me of worlders. So it's very possible that this is being shown, but also that all these things that they are doing is also being used against the dark energies as well. That's the feeling I'm getting with the star card that, of course, they've got everything as well. They've been you know, looking at all these uh, dark energies and all these puppets and justice will be done because I forgot to mention this. I also saw at the back of the, the deck, the justice card. And for some strange reason, I was just drawn in. So I actually uh, put that card aside as well. And I believe justice will be done. It is shown, it is known uh, by the white hats what's been going on. They know exactly they've got it all. And it's now being brought out in the open for the, you know, for humanity, for people to see it, to re realize what's been going on all this time and being aware of this. So I think this is just very interesting and it's necessary to show things to the people. I'm sorry, I just got a little confused if I've had the card correct, but I do. So this is the energy I got from what's happening with Snowden, uh, coming out, uh, explaining this to people, showing this to people, shining a light. But I do believe that a lot of the information is already known. And I think they've been doing this for a very long time, but it's now finally becoming public. So that's the energy I've got for uh, what's happening in that. And there was something else that is has a similar energy because I thought it was very interesting in the Dutch media and I'm sure probably in other media as well, uh, other media as well around the world. There's an article that I thought it was very interesting. I actually shared it uh, on my Telegram yesterday and this was about Dubai because there are flooding everywhere. And the uh, if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken the correct translation for this title and this was the first title because they've changed it but the first title was did Dubai uh, put you know flooded themselves uh, actually uh, uh, probably is partly the flooding because of the cloud seeding and this is very interesting so in the article they're talking about these chemicals these planes use to you know start raining to to start the rain and that they've been doing this for a very long time and this is in a mainstream media outlet here in the netherlands i wanted to take a look at it again and this time the title was changed that actually 
they are saying that it wasn't because of the cloud seeding, that it had nothing to do with that. So they are now backtracking, but it already came out. And there was another article also in the same newspaper talking about how to artificially create rain. So this is now out in the open. They can try to avoid it, but this is, uh, to me, this felt like they are trying to prepare people, sowing seeds, what's really going on, of course, to ultimately talk about the stripes in the sky and obviously what's been going on for a very long time with those stripes, because they've been doing all kinds of things to us, but it's necessary in certain steps. And also weather manipulation, that that is possible, because of course, if they do it there, they can do it anywhere. Let's face it. So this is a step in creating awareness and especially here in the Netherlands, this is now mainstream media. And I also saw a clip of a redacted talking about what's been happening in Dubai and that it got completely out of hand with the artificial uh, creating rain. This is interesting. So I wanted to take a look at that, the energy, and I got a yes from the Ace of Pentacles that this is done in that way. And it's to show people what's going on. We've got the Two of Swords, that's the central card. We've got uh, the Five of Wands in the past. We've got the Two of Cups underneath the Two of Swords. And for the future, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Strength card. Now, to me, this feels this is purposely done. It has to do also with healing and people understanding what's going on. Uh, you know, need to take certain steps to, you know, take people along so they can understand it. And this is talking about weather manipulation, but ultimately they will, of course, talk about the stripes in the sky. But it, patience is needed. Because we have the Two of Swords, so it they're trying to cover it up now. That's why they're backtracking, talking that it has nothing to do with that. Probably try to hope to, you know, focus it on it has to do with the climate, because everything has to do with the climate. But really, that it's actually put out there and people are reading this and seeing this. And not just in uh, this newspaper, there were more newspapers here in the Netherlands that were talking about this. But they are now trying to get it back, you know, the genie back in the bottle, which is not going to happen. More and more things are going to come out, but it will, you know, take some time, patience. But it will, it's, it's really about understanding and showing people and humanity to bring it back into their own, in, in the strength of humanity, to bring back the strength and understanding what's being done to us on such a large scale, on such a massive scale with the stripes, with the weather manipulations, with all the things going on. It's, it's very interesting. It's now all coming out. But like I mentioned, they're trying to push that aside. They're trying to blindfold people again, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that it's too much came out already. And uh, I do believe those are white hat influence bringing this to the surface. There are more uh, clips about cloud seeding and how long this has been going on. And of course, if that's possible with rain, there are other things possible as well. But like I said, it's in phases, in steps, so people will understand it and can move along without, you know, completely be overwhelmed by all the things coming out. So that's how I see things. I think this is very interesting. Hope to see you in another video. Bye.